Hey Wanderer Riders, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make spike tires so you can ride off-road in the snow and ice all winter long. We're going to start with this so you can make this and end up doing this. The first thing you're going to need is some supplies starting with a tire. You can get a new one but it's a lot cheaper to pick up the discards from the motocross shop like we did. Don! What you doing? Getting ready for winter. <laughs> and not only that, with the knobs worn down a bit, it'll give you a longer extension on your screws. Next, you need 250, one and a quarter inch long, one quarter inch in diameter concrete screws. That's enough for two tires. And you'll also need 250 quarter 20 nuts to go onto the concrete screws. You'll need a quarter inch thick rubber for the liner so that the concrete screw heads don't uh, rub through the inner tube. We used rubber floor mat. For tools, you'll need a 1 8 inch drill bit, a drill, uh, impact wrench, or you could just use a drill instead of the impact wrench as well. You'll need socket adapters for your drill, a 7 16 deep socket, six point, a long number three Phillips drill bit extension, uh, Phillips number three screwdriver and some sort of a box knife. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to drill holes through the knobs in your tire. And on the wider ones, you can actually drill two holes through so you get two spikes sticking out. The next step is to screw the concrete screws through the pre drilled holes from the inside of the tire to the outside. If using a drill is a bit cumbersome for you, you can also start them manually and then finish them off with the drill. The next step is to cross-thread all of the quarter 20 nuts onto the concrete screws using either an air wrench or a drill with a socket adapter. This works best as a two-person job with one person holding the Phillips screw head from the inside with a screwdriver and another person putting the nuts on from the outside. Then cut your rubber floor mat in strips wide enough to cover the screw heads inside the tire and then shave off a bit of an angle so that it fits nicely. Then all you have to do is put in the liner, mount the tire, and you're good to go. Hopefully this is enough to get you going for winter riding on your new studded tires. But if you'd like to have more info and more detail, we have another video available which gives you the following. We provide you recommendations on the best type of tubes to use, uh, sources for concrete screws, and also, if you're using the wrong kind of socket, it's really tough to get those nuts started on the concrete screws. So we'll give you a recommendation of the best type of deep socket to use, or if you uh, don't have the right kind, we'll show you how to modify the one you have so that it works. And also, if you want to replace a concrete screw or even redo a whole tire, it's really difficult to get those nuts off of the concrete screws when they're embedded in the, in the tire. So we'll uh, show you how to make a modified socket or wrench to make it possible to remove those nuts. How to make spreaders so that you can open up the tire when you're working on it. it makes it a lot easier to put the concrete screws in and the liner. And then also uh, we'll show you how to make sure that your liner doesn't shift if you want to use lower tire pressures. And all of this will also have a downloadable printable PDF which is a step-by-step -step guide to lead you through the whole process. You can download this by clicking the link at the bottom of the screen, or if you're on mobile, on the top right, and you can also click on the link in the description. This guide is based upon a season of our own trial and error, and it'll definitely save you a bunch of grief if you're planning to build your own winter spiked ice tires.